The first thing that I always indicate to people when their pet is diagnosed with kidney disease is that research has time and time again indicated that the biggest thing that they can do to impact the length of time that their pet lives as well as the quality of that time is to get them onto a kidney friendly diet. So no matter what amount of medications and fluid therapy that you're giving this animal, it's going to be impacted directly by its ability to metabolize and tolerate the metabolites of the diet that it takes in. Um, the diets need to be lower in protein, they need to be higher in bioavailability, they need to be oftentimes increased in potassium, increased in B vitamins, increased omega-3 fatty acids, low in phosphorus. Uh, calcium and phosphorus ratio needs to be addressed. There's, that's pretty complicated. It should also be lower in sodium in most patients because kidney disease patients tend to have high blood pressure. So given all of that, it's pretty hard to come by that on your own or to go to a grocery store and find a food that's actually going to fit that criteria and going to taste good. So it's been taken care of by a number of commercial food companies as prescription diets in both canned and uh, in dry forms. And uh, it's also available through the Just Food for Dogs company in their renal diets. So if somebody wants to do a home-cooked diet with more wholesome ingredients, uh, maybe more, uh, I guess, feel-good ingredients when you read the, the package, and a uh, more whole food approach that's available to them. So there's a lot of available options out there. The biggest thing is get the dog on a diet that will protect their kidneys. Same thing for a cat. The cats need to definitely need to get onto the renal diets and I've had people tell me as soon as they get the pet onto the renal diet, whatever source it is, that suddenly they have a new pet, that the animal has more energy and their coat looks better and they're just feeling better. It's again essential to treatment for kidney disease patients to be on a renal diet. I would absolutely agree that the Just Food for Dogs renal diet is much more palatable than the canned or kibble commercial diets that are available through prescription diets. Um, definitely these patients are coming in and they're nauseous, they're uremic, um, they just simply don't feel well and when you don't feel well you're not going to want to eat your vegetables and that's uh, kind of the the feeling that I get when you you put the uh, the bowl of food in front of the dog and they look at it with their slightly nauseous little eyes and just look back up at you like really I'm not going to eat this and you might be able to tip the balance in favor of the animal wanting to eat if it's something that's a little bit more wholesome and has a better smell and mouthfeel and flavor than what you can get out of a can or out of a bag.